What's up, guys? It's Casey Zuckelman, a.k.a. The Fort Sanderson Sister, coming at you with the Hocus Pocus 3 speculation video slash State of the Union address on this one. There was, I think it was an Investor's Day meeting this past week, and I was kind of expecting, you know, a little news, maybe. Um, we got nothing. We got nothing. Like, a lot of stuff, a lot of sequels were announced. Um, Zootopia 2, Toy Story 5, uh, Moana 2 came out of nowhere. Like, a bunch of those were announced. But we didn't get squat about HP3. <sighs> Which, honestly, makes me, uh, wonder where we're at with this. Like, and it could just... It could be they're waiting on a script. It could be they're waiting on a script to know they're doing it because we did get the confirmation last June, but at the same time it was it was only confirmation in the sense of the word. It wasn't like an official here's what's going down thing. It was just a passing comment by Sean Bailey. Um, and he was just like, yeah, it's happening. You got any more details? Details would be good. You got anything else to go on, bud? Because right now, I don't know where we're at. Like, I don't know where we're at. I've had so many of you asking me, has there been any Hocus Pocus 3 news? Has there been any Hocus Pocus 3 news? And I'm just like, you'll know when I know. <laughs> you'll know something when I know something. And I know nothing right now. I know what I've covered, which we know Jen is writing and we know Anne is directing. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all we got. Um, so I don't know. And then this thing came out that I actually kind of want to talk a little bit about because it actually made me a little nervous for the life of Hocus Pocus 3. It's, uh, I'm reading this article on Screen Rant, but I saw this on my Facebook and I was like, hmm, that's something. And it's, uh, Bob Iger admits Disney has made too many sequels, addresses future output. So, it says Disney CEO Bob Iger defends the recent number of sequels that the studio has produced while also admitting there's been too many of them. Okay. Which way is it? <laughs> Disney CEO Bob Iger addresses the studio's recent increase in producing sequels. For several years, the iconic studio found incredible success creating original, live li uh, li original animated and live-action movies. However, Disney's recent move. However, recently, Disney's movies have been criticized as lacking originality. This is because a lot of the studio's recent releases have been remakes, live-action versions of animated features, or sequels. Seemingly, as a result, Disney has struggled at the box office with a series of movies underperforming. According to The Wrap, Iger, who returned last year to once again take up the reins of the giant company, addressed uh, the 2023 underwhelming box office run and the recent trend of making sequels during a Q&A at the New York Times Deal Book Conference. Um, so I think this is still a different thing than what happened this past week. Iger stated that he would not be tendering any apologies, however he admits that the studio might have made too many. So here's what he says. I think I don't want to apologize for making sequels. Some of them have done extraordinarily well. Ta-da! <laughs> Probably the best one they've had, success-wise. And I'm not saying that lightly. <laughs> like, it was. And they've been good films, too. Most of them, yes. Not all of them. This one, yes. I think there has to be a reason to make it beyond commerce. Time out. I'm very glad to hear him say that. Because, and you guys know this is a genuine worry of mine, when Hocus Pocus 3 was announced... I was just like, oh boy, they're only doing this because two made them go cha-ching and they saw the dollar signs in their eyes. The fact that he's saying it's beyond commerce, that makes me feel a lot better. That makes me feel a lot better. You have to have a good story and we have made too many. Okay. Good. Good. I'm glad you admit that. I'm glad you admit that it has to have a good story. That doesn't mean we're not going to continue making them. Okay. That's fine. 
That's fine. I'm not going to read the rest of it. If you want to read the rest of it, I'll post it in the description down below. But I wanted to address that comment about how he said, uh, we've made too many, um, and you have to have a good story, and we're doing it for Beyond Commerce, which it both reassures me and also kind of terrifies me just a little bit, um, where Hocus Pocus 3 is concerned. That does mean he's not just going to green light one and just be like, yeah! Let's do it! It made us a bunch of money when we did number two! He clearly said it has to have a good story. So I think that's where we're at right now, is we're waiting on the good story. <laughs> we're waiting on the good story to show up. Um, which I'm sure it will, because Jen is involved. <laughs> Jen is the head writer again, and she knows what she's doing. A lot of people gave her a lot of flack for how two turned out. I really don't think that was justified. I think some of her stuff may have needed a little tweaky tweak, like a little, just tighten the screw a little bit, um, but not a whole lot. Maybe just like get rid of some of the rusty parts that didn't need to be there. You know what I'm talking about. I don't even have to say their names, um, but I just a little tweaking would have made it better. And I think she has unjustly been thrown under the bus for this one. Just like, ah, that story sucked. It really didn't. Like, it really didn't. We just didn't have enough time to do everything we needed to do. We didn't have time to world build this time around. Like, the first time Hocus Pocus 1, we had time to world build. We had world building time. Two, we didn't have as much world building time because we hit the ground running. Um, which, while was smart because we spent more time with the Sanderson sisters, it also hurt us a little bit because we didn't... We didn't feel, a lot of people, their biggest complaint is the new kids, and I haven't, I take issue with the new kids on the fact that, like, I didn't love them, but I don't hate them. Like, I don't hate them, I think they're fine, but they're just fine. That was the problem. They're, they're fine. They're only fine. Except for Izzy, Izzy's awesome. <laughs> but I'll defend Izzy till the day I die. <laughs> I love Izzy. I love Belissa's, Belissa's character. She's so good. Um, <laughs> such a good, good character. Um, but that said, they were fine. And that was, that was a problem. Um, a lot of other people were like, how dare you make us feel bad for the child eating witches? And I'm just like, but that goes back to not ha people aren't born evil. Like, I like that we did this. I'm also just a sucker for a good redemption arc. Um, and I think we set that up. We didn't go through with it all the way, but we're getting there. And I think we could see some of that in three or some more of that in three. At least I would hope we see more of that in three. So I guess, I guess that really takes me to where are we going? Where are we going to go with three? What do I want to see and what do I not want to see? Um, will this sequel even get greenlit at this point? Um, it's, it's that, it's been lightly confirmed. It hasn't been officially confirmed. None of the social media pages have said anything about it. We've got nothing said in investors meeting. We've got nothing other than the Sean Bailey comment say, uh, and the fact that Jen is working on a script and Anne's coming back to direct that this is gonna happen and things have been scrapped before. I was sitting with this. I'm gonna be honest. You guys know how nervous to say the least I am about three. After the investors meeting this week or whatever it was they were doing and we got no news, I was like, oh no, I didn't know how I felt about this, but now I'm kind of like, oh no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm like, I, I actually started getting a little upset the more I started thinking about it. So I'm not saying I'm completely Team Hocus Pocus 3 yet, but I, I'm getting on board. <laughs> I still need to know what the story is, and I really think that's where we're at, is what we're going to do with the story. Because even Bob Iger is like, it has to have a good story, or I'm not going to do it. Which is great! That is great! That is wonderful news! I love that news so much! I just... I, I know Jen is a busy lady. She is such a busy lady. She has been doing so many projects recently with Quiz Lady and other stuff. And I'm sure she is working on other things. But I really need to know about this. 
this. Like, I really need to know about this. We need to know what is going on here. Um, especially if we have any hope whatsoever of bringing back our trio of wonderful, wonderful ladies. Like, we need to know where we're at progress wise we need to we need to we need to get going we need to get moving on this like we just we need to get started we need to get going but at the same time we also need to take our time with it (laughs) but and that's where that's where we're the state of the union right now is i don't know anything (laughs) we don't know anything we got nothing to go on other than those three little things And two of those things are very promising. Like, two of those things are promising. Anne and Jen coming back makes me very, very happy. I've talked more about that in the video where they confirmed that this was happening. And you can watch that by clicking on this thing right here. Um, But I don't know. I don't know. I know what I don't want to see um, more than... Well, I know what I do want to see, but I'm also very biased on how I want to see this third one go off. (laughs) I was very biased on how I want to see this third one go off, uh, which is the Avengers! <laughs> Avengers Assemble! Um, <laughs> Avengers Assemble! Let's go beat Mother Witch! Let's redeem the Sanderson sisters! Let's go! Let's get the old kids back! Let's just... On your left, we need Avengers Assemble. But I really don't want to see certain elements... And I want to touch on this really quick because it's been on my mind. So like I said, this is just kind of a speculation state of the union kind of thing. Maybe some stuff I do and don't want to see, but like not a lot. I'll do a whole video on that by itself. There's things that, while she is such a strong writer, I don't want her to fall prey to. And that's the once upon a time syndrome. I'm calling it the once upon a time syndrome for a reason. Because back during the height of its popularity, once upon a time had a profound effect effect on other stories whether people want to admit that or not um and the once upon a time effect basically was everyone was suddenly related to everyone and uh, characters came out of the blue with little to no explanation as to why they existed and suddenly they exist and now we have these characters and we really didn't need these characters but they're related to this character and it just goes on that happened a lot during the height of Once Upon a Time's popularity. It's like fan fiction got on cocaine and ran off. Like, it was just like, it did a line and it started moving. <laughs> but, um, I really don't want her to fall prey to that because you could have the whole, suddenly there's another Sanderson. I'm gonna tell you right now. If anyone important can hear my words to pass this on to Jen D'Angelo and Ann Fletcher, do not, do not add another Sanderson. Don't do it. Because it will fall prey to the once upon a time effect. The once upon a time syndrome will take over. And the fans are not going to take kindly to that. When I talk to people about that book. What? A lot of people were like, I didn't care for the fourth sister. And I agreed. We don't need another one of those. We don't need another Sanderson. Unless it is Papa Sanderson. Unless we get to see their dad or their respective mothers, because I'm still guessing they had three different moms. Unless it is their parents, we do not need another Sanderson. That is a twist that is there just to be like, oh, it's very twisty. It's very twisty. I just did a twist. Did you see this twist? Don't do that. I beg of you, don't do that. It's gonna get hit with the once upon a time syndrome, and that's a bad thing. <laughs> that's a bad thing. <laughs> um, cause that's what happened in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. That's what happened in that book. What? Could you please refrain from mentioning that in my presence? And just like, 
you don't need to do the once upon a time thing. Don't do it just to be like, it's very twisty. We don't need another Sanderson family member unless it is their parents. Do you understand what I am saying to you? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Don't do it. So the story needs to be good. We don't need any new characters, especially of that caliber. But we've got plenty. <laughs> we have plenty of characters to work with. We've got three witches. We've got a mother witch who we don't know enough about yet, but I'm sure she's going to exist again. We've got Becca, Izzy, Cassie, Gilbert, Max, Alice, and Danny. That's 11 that I could see us using. That's enough. <laughs> That's plenty. We don't need any more characters. That's enough characters. If you want to add another 12 and put Binx's ghost in there, I will live with that. But we don't need- and Billy makes 13, but I don't think we need Billy in 3, but that's just me. Um, that's plenty. <laughs> like, I just- that sat with me too when I, I- after I was looking at the whole Bob Iger talking about too many sequels comment. Because I was just like- He's talking about too many sequels. Does that mean we're going to get Hocus Pocus 3? And then after I read the whole article, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll probably still get 3. But it's going to have to meet a certain criteria to get greenlit. Which is great. That is great. That is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. And let's keep it that way. <laughs> um, but that certain criteria is also going to have to just... <sighs> And again, it goes back to what I said during episode one of the podcast, um, which if you haven't watched that, you can watch by clicking on this thing right here. Jen D'Angelo has the hardest job in the world right now, and I do not envy her for a second. Because a lot of you guys are telling me, oh god, I wish you could write the sequel, we wish you could write the sequel. I'm like, I don't want that job. <laughs> I don't want that job because you can't please everybody. And your whole thing is to be like, what is the majority of the audience going to like? I don't know what the majority of the audience is going to like. I know what I would like to see and what I think would make sense. I don't want her job. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to be a consultant, though. <laughs> it's like, can we run this by you? Absolutely. I will give you my notes. Like, I would... I would give you all the notes if you needed me to do notes. I just don't want your job. <laughs> like, that's just the thing. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. State of the Union right now is it's really up in the air. It's just up in the air. The too many sequels thing did kind of freak me out a little bit because that kind of... That tacked in with no confirmation during the investors meeting this month really also kind of gave me the... Ooh. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> that don't look good for us. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> um, but at the same time, let's be honest. Two had a fabulous ending. Two had a fabulous ending. If we end up not getting three, I'm not going to be super upset. I'll be sad, but I'm not going to be super upset. Because two just ended so darn well. <laughs> it just ended so darn well. And I just don't... There's... <sighs> There's rocks ahead, Captain! Please steer us away from them! I just, I don't know. I don't know. I really was hoping maybe we'd get some kind of news this week from the investors meeting, but we got nothing. Um, I wanted to make the State of the Union address uh, because I've had so many of you asking me, has there been any, been any Hocus Pocus 3 news? And I'm just like, no, <laughs> there hasn't been any. <laughs> I've got nothing here. Um, but I just wanted to do kind of a more casual Let's talk about this little shop talk video. Um, so that's where we're at, folks. I don't know where Hocus Pocus 3 is on their radar. I don't know. I just don't know. 
Usually when I say I don't know enough, it's like saying Beetlejuice three times, and then suddenly things start showing up, so who knows? Maybe I just jinxed it again. Um, could be putting out a video in the middle of the week now, I don't know. <laughs> but it'll be fine. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free, it helps me, and what helps me helps you guys get more great content like this. Like this State of the Union because I've just had so many questions about it and I'm just like, I don't know what to tell you! I don't know what to tell you! Saturday night, brand new series on Black Flame Gaming. Mary Sanderson begins her heart gold journey in Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke Edition, and that is going to be simulcast to both YouTube and Twitch, as long as my internet's okay with it. So, I'll be starting, uh, Twitch gameplay then, uh, still trying to figure out my Twitch schedule. I think it's still probably gonna be every other week. Um, I just might do, uh... I don't know. We'll see. I'm still working it out. Uh, still working out the kinks, but we're gonna start simulcasting to Twitch this coming weekend. So just go follow me on Twitch anyway, because we're gonna be doing uh, Twitch exclusive content over there as well, um, which is what I'm trying to get scheduled. Uh, we're gonna be starting with the Untitled Goose Game, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, as soon as I get everything scheduled. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. And then uh, next week, I'm hoping to have more of a cohesive video for you guys because this is two weeks in a row where you've kind of gotten a freeform video. I'm going to try to script something this week for you guys so we have more of a regularly scheduled programming video unless something happens and we get news. Um, apart from that, if you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like and share your thoughts on this limbo state that we're in down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zolman, aka the Ford Sanderson sister, and I'll see you witches and wizards later. I am put a spell on you.